Wow, this is cool. Hey. Hey, you. You, the adept rogue. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh... All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Shortmail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses. Okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. Nice! We found an altar already. My sword fears nothing! Once the battle begins, the battle battle area is surrounded by the battle fence so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, you're not too Not so difficult, huh? That's it. Just continue fighting like that. That was nothing. We found another altar. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. This will be quick. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. Gale Blade! Alright, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EL-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? It's all up to you now. Awesome job! All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you.
This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Thanks. Huh? What the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on! I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... <laughs> this is my reward! Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello. <laughs> I swear, just pretend to be their friend, and they fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> Hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Huh? What the? Welcome to the world.
What an idiot. Ha! <laughs> hmm? I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? Yeah, I think I can. So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. The terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. Uh -huh. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? 
Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. <gasps> Do you always interrupt people like that? You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> <sighs> Shino. Huh? Atoli. Do you know this person? Uh, no. Atoli. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey, you. Why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta Hidden Forbidden Waterfall. Waiting at R.K. Kelm. But who sent it? <gasps> Ovan! Just hold on a moment. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. Ovan! It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. You. Where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino... Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now. And Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Meanwhile, the real-life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes, but that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage... Then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today, at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime? You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The whole Grand's Cathedral. Yes, finally! I'll get my chance! I swear I'll bring Shino back! I'll do it, Ovan! Yes. You and I, 
We're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. He will be back today, at the scene of the crime. Triage is coming here.
Huh? What the? I was fighting Tri-Edge. But then... Damn it, I can't remember. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Reformatted? What's going on? What about my emails? Huh? What the hell? I would never delete these. They're all... gone? Even the emails I got from Shino. Everything's been reformatted. What the hell is... an email? Bovan? Trial? Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. I'm gonna get Shino back. You're open! <laughs> This is a piece of cake. Hello everyone. Last night, popular entertainer Salvador Ayhara fell into a coma and... I guess I should read my urgent email. Adelie, are you alone? Don't get lost. Let's head to the sea. Let's head to the Sigma server.
The world. A year and three months ago, I was there. That's where I met Ovan and Shino. As the three of us grew closer, I felt I'd finally found a place where I belonged. But then there was the incident in the Hulgrans Cathedral. Shino fell into a coma, and Ovan disappeared. From that point forward, the only thing left to sustain me was my desire for revenge on Triage. Seeking power, I became the terror of death. But all that power was lost when Triage hit me with a data drain. Even after that, my search for power continued. Inside, I was still seething, boiling over with feelings of injustice and rage. It was then I learned of Epitaph users. Players strong enough to combat the out-of-spec phenomenon known as Ida. The immense power of those players' avatars proved irresistible to me. Except through that power, come to think of it, I met and dealt with all kinds of people since it all started. People I could only understand by dealing with them head on. Troublemakers who were good deep down. People who had different reasons for doing things, but shared the same goals. People I could count on. And when I found out the truth, when I drew back the curtain to find Ovan orchestrating everything, it was thanks to all those people that I was able to cope. When Ovan's avatar, Korbinik, unleashed rebirth, summoning forth the anti-existence Kubia, I was able to survive, because everyone was there. That's when I realized. True power comes from all the people that we encounter in our life's journey. So, to make my peace with power once and for all, and to awaken him before it's too late, I've come back. Back to the world. Man, it's been forever since I last logged into the world. The desktop's just like I remember, hmm? They've stopped doing updates? Well, whatever. What I'm looking for, I'll find inside the world. Time to log in. Server failure? And they're going to shut down the service? I have to hurry. I better log into the world. <laughs> sure has been a while, hasn't it? But I don't have time to drown in nostalgia. Huh? Not good. It's more unstable than I expected. Gotta get going. I should input the area word at the Chaos Gate. It's from Saiki. I see 
you're logged in, Haseo. Yes. I'm right in front of Makanu's Chaos Gate, Saiki. We're in the world. No need to be so formal. But... Come on, for old time's sake. Sure thing, Pi. I trust you know where to go and what to do? Head for Delta Hidden Forbidden Dark Grotto, and ascertain the situation once you arrive. Understood. I'll monitor you from the real world. And just in case you weren't already aware, here's what's up. The world is currently experiencing server issues and bugs across all systems, leading to widespread instability. No one knows why. Even the admins aren't sure how to fix the instabilities at this time. If I had to venture a guess as to the cause, I'd say the servers were straining under the weight of all this illegal activity. Not the least of which is the rebirth, and the emergence of Kubia. In any case, this place is careening down a path to destruction. And then there's CC Corp. They've made the decision to permanently shut down the World R2 on New Year's Eve, the last day of 2018. <sighs> There's only a few days left. Rescuing him is going to be a race against time. Don't worry. I know what's at stake. I hope you succeed. For your sake, and his. I will. I have to make this work. This is the newest lost ground unearthed by Nab. Quahome Cavern. I finally found him. And here of all places. The guy who first got me into the world. Who guided me so he could save his little sister, Aina, from the Ida virus that infected her. And then he activated his avatar, Corbinix, forbidden power, rebirth. The man who reset this world. Ovan! It's been over a year since then. But Ovan, Masato Indo, still lies in a coma in the real world. I'm going to smash that ice to pieces. And wake you the hell up! Justice! strong enough okay calm down I can do this there has to be some way to save him hang in there Ovan I'll get you out of there one way or another I'll find a way to break you out of that ice whether you want me to or not 
That's a promise. I knew it. I need to get that power back. The power to get you out of there. 